and action. And action. Hi, Dr. Darren Stigall coming to you from Express Chiropractic. In this short video, I want to review two sleeping positions that you should avoid and two positions that are more, more ideal for you to sleep in. This is especially important if you find yourself in a position where you're not able to get to your chiropractor as frequently as you would like to for your prevention and your maintenance type care. So the first position that we want to avoid is going to be our stomach. I know you uh, knew that was coming, but I also want to demonstrate why that is a position that we want to avoid. A lot of people think it is just because of lower back. Uh, having said that, there's another problem with sleeping on your stomach, which is that you must rotate your head, and you will find most people will rotate their head to the same side most of the time. This can create some alignment issues and some mobility issues in the neck as those spinal bones are continually rotated for hours and hours and hours, and then when you get up in the morning and go about your business and want your head to be straight, yet those spinal bones have been jammed in a rotated position, it increases the chances that you could have some pain, some strain of the joints and the muscles in the area. So it's more ideal to not have your, your head rotated for long periods of time. The next position that we want to avoid is going to be the side, but with the leg kicked out, whether it's on your shoulder, or whether you're getting rotated way uh, down forward onto your stomach. Either way, again, you will probably find you do it to the same side most of the time. And just as I was mentioning with the neck, with the pelvis, you're rotating that for long periods of time, many hours in most insta instances for people that are sleeping a reasonable amount of time in the evening. And then you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to expect that pelvis to be positioned forward and function normally and you're increasing the chance you're going to sprain or strain uh, the joints or create some alignment issue from this position. Positions that are more ideal, once again, still staying on the side, only instead we want to keep one knee on top of the other, ideally with the blankets or a pillow in between. You would also, of course, have a pillow under your neck. Try to keep this position from your shoulder to your neck at 90 degrees as much as you can. And now we want to move on to the back. This is the second option that you have. So once again, we have our pillow. You can be on your back with no pillow under your knees, or if you want to try to flatten your lower back a little bit and take, possibly take some pressure off, then you could put pillows under. You can put as many pillows as you need under your knees or your legs to find your ideal or figure out your ideal position. As an alternative to this pillow, because sometimes it will flex the head up, which again, you don't, is not ideal. An alternative to the pillow is to try a rolled up towel. You've heard me mention this before. You roll that into a cylinder, put it under the curve of your neck, which remember the curve should go towards the ceiling and so this towel is putting your neck in that ideal curve, C-shaped curve, which when you're on your back should be pointing at the ceiling. So the towel puts you in that ideal position, and this is also a good position to be in. You may notice that you cannot start in this position for long periods of time because you're so used to a pillow. What I recommend is you start in this position until you get uncomfortable, and then if you get uncomfortable, get rid of the towel, grab your pillow, and go back to the familiar position. If people mention to me all the time, Dr. Stigall, I can't stay in these positions because I don't know what I'm doing when I'm sleeping. You do. You're not giving your brain enough credit. If you tell yourself before you go to sleep, hey, if you get out of this ideal position, wake up. After a while, your brain will do that. It will wake you up if you're stuck in one of these positions, and that will be your, your reminder to grab your pillow or your blankets, get back in your ideal position, and as you continue to do that, you'll get better and better at it until you can sleep in these more ideal postures throughout the night. Hope that helps. Dr. D, over and out.